the cleanliness of a surface prior to the application of a protective coating system is one of the most critical factors in determining the life of that system. When we speak of surface cleanliness, we're referring to the degree to which rust, old paint, mill scale, and other surface debris have been removed prior to applying the coating system. At a very early age, many of us learned that you don't apply new paint over rust or old paint. Almost intuitively, we believe that until the surface is perfectly clean, the coating should not be applied. The product data sheets for the coating systems will indicate the degree of cleaning required, but ultimately it's the project specification that directs the contractor to prepare the surfaces to a certain level of cleanliness. After the surfaces are prepared, they are visually examined to determine compliance with the specified cleanliness requirements. This can be a difficult task, as opinions will oftentimes vary regarding the appearance of surfaces once they've been prepared. SSPC has published several surface cleanliness standards, including one for solvent cleaning, one for hand tool cleaning, three for power tool cleaning, six for abrasive blast cleaning, four for water jetting, one for pickling prior to galvanizing, and one for the preparation of concrete. The SSPC surface preparation standards are numbered chronologically as they're developed, so unfortunately there's no relationship between the number and the hierarchy of the cleanliness achieved. The standards currently range from SSPC SP1 through SSPC SP16, although a few within that range have been dropped. In addition, SP, SSPC WJ1 through SSPC WJ4 for water jetting have been added. SSPC SP1 is solvent cleaning. It's used to remove grease, oil, lubricants, other contaminants from the surface. SP1 is automatically invoked in all of the other surface cleanliness standards for steel. SSPC SP2 hand tool cleaning and SP3 power tool cleaning, as well as SP7 brush off blast cleaning require the removal of all loosely adhering rust, paint, and mill scale. Any tightly adhering rust, paint, or mill scale can remain as judged with a dull putty knife blade as the inspection tool. SSPC SP11 power tool cleaning to bare metal and SP15 commercial grade power tool cleaning require the removal of all loosely and tightly adhering rust, paint, and mill scale unless the surface is pitted. If it's pitted, Traces of debris can remain in the pits. SP15 also allows staining to remain on the surface in up to 33% of each 9 square inches of repaired steel. Both SP11 and SP15 invoke a minimum 1 mil surface profile. SSP CSP6 commercial blast, SP10 near white blast, and SP5 white metal all require the removal of loosely and tightly adhering rust, paint, and mill scale. The SP6 and SP10 standards also allow staining to remain on the surface. For commercial blast, up to 33% of each 9 square inches can have staining. For near white, 5% of each 9 square inches of prepared steel can have staining. No staining is permitted for a white metal blast at all. For SP14 industrial blast, it allows up to 10% intact rust to remain on the surface. Staining is unlimited. SP7 brush off blast removes loose material and etches the surface, but allows tight material to remain. SP16 brush off blast cleaning of coated and uncoated galvanized steel, stainless steels, and non-ferrous metals requires a dense and uniform roughening of the surface. SSPC also has four water jetting standards. SPWJ4 re requires the removal of all loosely adhering rust, paint, and mill scale, while WJ3 allows up to 33% staining or tightly adhering material to remain. WJ2 allows up to 5% staining or tightly adhering material to remain, and WJ1 requires water jetting to expose bare steel. Those four WJ standards have replaced SP12 water jetting. These to include the four individual uh, degrees of cleaning in one single standard. The remaining surface preparation standards are SP for pickling prior to galvanizing and SP13 for uh, preparation of concrete. SP4 uh, flame cleaning and SP9 weathering followed by blast cleaning and SP12 water jetting have been discontinued. 
To assist in the visual assessment of surface cleanliness, SSPC has developed four sets of reference photographs known as visual guides. Each visual guide contains several before and after photographs. The visual guides can help you assess whether surfaces have been prepared according to the project specification before painting begins. Remember that these are guides in the, in, in the event of a dispute. It's the written standard and not the guide that is the governing document. The guides are available for hand and power tool cleaning, abrasive blast cleaning, wet abrasive blast cleaning, and water jetting. And that's all there is to it. Log on to ktauniversity.com for other instructional videos on service preparation and other subjects.